Well, our tropical update is all of course is of course all about Beta as the tropical storm continues to make its way north. But now it's moving northeast. Someone needs to tell this thing it's going the wrong direction per the forecast. It should correct itself before too long here. But still, it's getting stronger and it is changing its tack just a little bit, and it's in our favor. Check it out. It has winds of around 60 miles an hour right now. Uh, that data needs to be updated just here in a minute. I'm sure the computer will do that because I just checked some of the raw data and it's moving to the northeast now and it's going to continue to move in that northerly track until it is pushed by this frontal boundary that's here. I'll show you that with Futurecast and how it will eventually become a Category 1 hurricane. Yikes! In the western gulf and the northwestern gulf and then head on off towards say, oh, between Houston and Corpus Christi. You have the whole section of uh, southeast Texas back to the coastal bend and that will be under the gun from Rockport, a uh, familiar name with uh, uh, the previous Harvey, and then you can see Corpus Christi under the gun there. And again, that's 7 o'clock Monday. So we're all the way through the weekend and into Monday now to make either landfall or skirt along the land and then push to the uh, north along toward Beaumont. Now, you can see this kind of bulges out when that curves like that. So I don't know is when it at the last minute it bulges out and kind of gobbles up a piece of Willacy County. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't think much of the valley is in that forecast, fam. But we are in a couple of watches. We have a coastal flood watch in effect this weekend as that surf is going to get aggressive and push on into the valley. That's for Willacy and Cameron. As well, we have a tropical storm watch in effect for the Rio Grande Valley right along our coast and then back up in through Kennedy County toward Clayburg County. Kennedy County is not divvied up the way the rest of the counties are with a coastal region and then the rest of the county. Kennedy County is just kind of all by itself as, as one uh, item. So that's why you see it like that. Uh, and then the hurricane watch is on up. You, you can see this is where it gets serious from, you know, north of Corpus Christi from Rockport on back past Victoria. And then, you know, you've got to Port Aransas in there and then you've got Galveston. And those are the folks that are going to be under the gun from Beta. But we will be under the gun for the rain potential because as I said there's a stationary front there and it's a, like a curtain and the storm is going to have a dickens of a time pushing through that so it's going to slide 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 and then go on its way right on up and notice it's missing the valley but still in that time frame that Sunday to Monday we could very well see some heavy rains around the Rio Grande Valley especially the lower valley and then it just kind of sits up there uh, around Corpus and then heads toward Beaumont Heavy downpours, potential for street flooding, lots of lightning. It's going to be windy around these parts Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and we'll all be tired of hearing about it. <laughs> That's for sure by the time the next week is over. Now, looking at 4 to 6 inches mid to lower valley, yeah, but 8 to 10 inches. But possible from lower valley through to the coastal region, so that's definitely... Uh worth noting. That's why we're not out of the woods. You can say to yourself, it's going up that way. Well, mm, we still have the possibility of some very heavy rains depending on the track. Peaking on Monday, there you see the 80% opportunity there. And the winds, as I said, may get pretty gusty around here. We could be looking at 30 to 40 mile an hour winds gusting to 50, again, depending on the track. But this track, the way it's changing and heading more north, we could be looking at less wind as a result of that. So that's that's a good trend to see. I like to see that. But again, I don't like anybody else to have to deal with a storm like that. But um, I like that we're not going to get hit as we've already had our Hannah earlier this year. But still, we'll, we'll, we'll update those numbers as, as the track adjusts. And uh, we'll update you as well. I'll have Facebook Live, uh, full forecast coming up after the 10 o'clock news.